What's up, YouTube? So, um, I had wanted to, um, I talked to everybody about, uh, what I recently did to my Durango. Um, I've been getting some questions about where I got my splitters and, um, what exhaust I'm going with and, um, stuff like that. Uh, first I want to say is that, um, the splitters, I got my splitters from a guy named, uh, Kevin. Um, he goes by Splitter Kevin on Instagram. Um, I was referred to him by someone else uh, that had a Durango. Um, I would say the quality the quality is pretty good. Uh, I can't complain about the quality. Um, he did take pretty long um, as far as getting it to me, though. Um, it took a good almost two months to actually get my... Um, my, my package and stuff like that and even at that i haven't even received my side the splitter jet so, um the front and the rear corners but i didn't receive the side uh skirts or or the side splitters and the middle um uh, rear diffuser so i'm still missing that so um like i said it's been almost two months um other people that i asked about him uh said had good things to say uh, said that he was pretty quick. Um, I don't know if it was just me and, you know, and, or it was just, um, uh, I don't know, maybe because of this whole situation going on, uh, with this coronavirus and stuff like that. I don't know if it's because of that, but, um, whatever it is though, um, it did take pretty long, um, to get my package and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, as far as quality goes, um, I can't complain. Um, it, it does look good. Um, it is pretty good quality. Um, it doesn't seem like it will, you know, break like the plastic ones do. Um, and yeah, so um, I've gotten plenty of comments uh, and stuff like that about them in person. That's people who've seen them in person. So that's good. Um, as far as my exhaust goes, um, I went with the carbon exhaust uh, five inch tips. Um, before I had the three inch tips on there, um, the three inch tips uh were too, too small uh in my you know for my taste you know um and i want to go with a more beefier look and want to fill in that rear valance so i ordered the five inch tips from car uh carbon exhaust.com um i'll try to leave that link in the description as well um i'll also put the splitter guys uh instagram name uh down in the description as well but yeah so the exhaust um the, the exhaust i went with is a borla attack exhaust um with the mid muffler delete now it does sound real good um i do want to probably do the x pipe um i'm probably am going to do that um maybe soon um but right now it does sound good just with the mid muffler delete with the borla so that's what I'm running with right now. Um, I have no problem with it. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of um, questions about the scat pack uh, snorkel bezels that I put in as well. Um, those were a pretty, uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess that was a pretty interesting um, idea that I had actually got from another guy who actually already had did it. Um, and I think, I think his name is Kenny. I believe that's his name. I'm not sure. Um, uh, but he has that, uh, white Durango and he has his, uh, scat pack bezels in his grill as well. I got the idea from him. Um, he's a cool guy. Um, and I actually, before I did it, I actually came to him and, and talked to him about it. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to just steal his idea, but Hey, you know, uh, I kind of want, I need, I needed that look. So, but he had told me, you know, he was cool. You know, he uh, said that he had put them in a different way. He didn't put them in exactly how the scat packs have them. He actually put it in the opposite way, uh, which is, this is fine. It still looks pretty good. Um, I actually put them in the way the scat pack, scat packs actually have it in their grill. Um, and that's what I wanted. So I was able to uh, paint them. I was able to paint them white or whatever at the shop uh guy pen on white for me um and put them in he did the cutouts um he did the cutouts measured it 
um, used a, like a Dremel um, to actually make the cut. And then um, it was put in and held on with the uh, JB Weld. I, I got to say, after he put it in, it just made a whole, it just changed the whole thing, the whole look. So uh, I'm happy how it came out. Um, if you guys want to do it, by all means, man, go ahead and, you know, trick it out and, and you know, put it on. Um, I, I, get, I get a lot of comments about it and stuff like that. Um, if you like the aggressive look, it definitely adds that to it. Um, but yeah, uh, this project is basically taking me <sighs> on the outside. It's, it's been what about a month now. I've been working on this now, about a, maybe a little over a month. I've been working on, uh, uh, on the outside part, um, getting it all ready and stuff like that. I'm trying to help and finish the exterior part um everything is on i have the stripe on that you guys seen the black with the white strip um so i have that on right now i do need to add it on top of the roof i didn't finish the roof um only because that i need to polish it out um i used to have a black top and i used to have it wrapped in black gloss so when i peeled it off it left some residue on top of the roof from the like from the sticky part of it i need to polish it out before i lay the new stripe on top of the roof um so there's no stripe on the roof at the moment but i will be putting that on um just gonna get that polished out real quick uh but yeah so i have that um if you guys notice in uh the picture as well um you'll notice that I didn't have the sensor holes in the front bumper covered. So when I had got it painted, my painter forgot to actually fill the holes and paint it, you know? So uh, he actually painted it without filling the holes and I don't have front sensors. So I actually just bought some, uh, some caps, uh, sensor plugs uh, to actually put in it. Um, so I'm waiting on those to come in, um, come in the mail. So once I get those, I'll be able to paint those, uh, color match those, pop them in, and that'll be that. Uh, only other thing I'm waiting on, again, is like I'm waiting on the splitters for the sides and uh, the middle um, diffuser as well. I'm still waiting on that. Once I get those, I will put those on um, just to uh, get them mounted and then see how everything looks and fit it. Once I get everything uh, fitted right and everything's good, I will take them all back off to get them painted gloss black. Now, um, I think that would actually complete the outside as far as what I want to do to the outside for the moment. And um, and then I'll move into doing stuff for the inside. The inside of the vehicle is a, it's going to be a whole different story. Um, I got stuff, you know, planned to work with the inside of this uh, Durango. As you see, I already had the stars, and um, I already talked about that in the last video on how to actually install these uh, these ceiling lights here, these stars in the ceiling. So I'm not gonna get into that. But um, before I before I did this project, um, I called this project the Carnage Remix. Um, when I uh, before I started this project, I had uh, my Durango on 24s. Um, they were black gloss gloss black 24s with the wrap top and you know black gloss um and uh, i'll probably put a picture on here just to show you guys real quick yeah so i had uh that and um and it was it was okay you know uh people liked it and stuff like that uh i downgraded from 24s to the 22 by 10 uh, Lexani wheels, uh, with the Lexani tires. Um, and I did it for, just for performance wise. Like, I just felt like I wanted to, um, I just wanted more performance. And I feel like if I dropped it from 24s and put 22s on there, um, it would give me better performance. And, uh, and then when I bag it too, I just, I don't know. I, I it's just everything looked it right. Just being bagged 22s and they're 22 by 10 and a halves. Um, I went with the 40 series tire, uh, so there's 285 40s on here. Um, <laughs> people were talking about, hey, I don't know if you can fit the 40s and bag it. I did that, so um, it's bagged now on 40s. 
So, which is good. I mean, um, I don't think you can go any higher than that or any uh, wider than a 285. Um, but yeah, you're pretty much maxed out at that. Um, but yeah, um, I had to switch it up. Um, I'm actually liking the newer look now than I did before. Um, I will stick with this new look prior for the rest, the rest of the time I have this truck. Um, but yeah, I have the sound system coming in. I have a guy, Music in Motion is actually doing my sound system. Um, they're going to be putting in, um, two shallow twelves in here for me. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm not going to get too much into that. I'm just going to show you guys and then go from there. Uh, they are the same people who actually did my uh, airbag system. Uh, matter of fact, and they mounted my controller right here. So this is the controller to um, to my airbag system. They, they did a nice installation for me. Uh, the bags were put in and, uh, and they ran the wires and stuff like that and mounted the tanks and stuff like that really nicely. Um, as soon as it stops raining and stuff out here, I will go into more detail as far as like where it is located and stuff like that, as far as the bags go. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, uh, talk to you guys and let you guys know basically about where this build came from, um, you know, and why I switched it up and stuff like that. When you guys see, you know, the before pictures, you'll probably see why it's a night and day look, um, and, um, I just really like this look better, um, with what I got now. Um, it's more aggressive, uh, more sportier. Um, and that's the kind of the look I was going for. Um, but yeah. So if you guys have any questions for me, um, let me know. Like I said, I'll put the, put the, the guy's name on IG for the splitters. I'll put it down in the description and, um, I'll also put down the, um, the link or the URL to the website to uh, um, get those uh, carbon exhausts and stuff like that, uh, tips and stuff. So, yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up. All right.